Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is you're going to have to put your hands on it. The scripture comes from Matthew 5 and 19. Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commands and teaches others accordingly will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever practices and teaches these commands will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so this is the message. God is saying for somebody, um, practice what you preach. Okay. And that's like literally what the message is. Practice what you preach. Um, um, yeah, like, I, like that's the message. God is saying, you gotta have to put your hands on it. Like you, you yourself have to also follow what you are teaching. Okay, like you yourself will have to follow what you are teaching unless you are going like you. It's kind of like how you going to tell people they need to stop doing this and they don't need to do this and they can't do that and they can't do that and they can't do this. But you yourself are doing this. You doing that. You doing that. You doing this. Like I said, um, if you don't figure it out and put it together, you know. Um, like y'all know me personally, I'm not shy about the fact that I had such a hard time stop, um, to stop smoking cigarettes. Okay. I stopped and then I picked it back up and then I stopped and picked it back and I stopped and I'm like, ah, and it's like, <laughs> it's hard. It is hard. It is hard. It is hard. It is so hard. This is something that I have been struggling with for a while and I, stop and I do my breathing treatments and I heal myself up with the herbs and then something really big bang boom happens and I start again and I just feel like um God is saying for someone practice what you preach okay and you know I, I like understand that God is very understanding okay God loves us deeply but in reality, God is saying you have to ensure that you're not being a hypocrite, okay? And, you know, that's the message, y'all, okay? And, you know, uh, I just feel like even if it's a case where, like, just how I just said that, like, I, I, I always admit this. Like, I've, I've been open and honest. There are videos in the, uh, I think my first video, my second video, I got so stressed out from the message that I pulled a cigarette out, okay? <laughs> and I was like, if you don't put that down, and like, it's like you see me put, I was like, I gotta smoke a cigarette. You see me pull the cigarette out and light the flick, and then I cut the camera off because God was like, girl, if you don't stop playing with me, okay? <laughs> you don't stop playing with me today, okay? But anyways, I just feel like for somebody, God has said, um, Peep this, okay? And this is from, um, I'm just letting you know from my experience as, I don't know if this is for somebody that maybe um, you are just called, God is just calling upon you, maybe you're just starting, um, maybe you're figuring things out. God said, look, he loves you so much. Don't get it twisted, but don't be a hypocrite because he can't respect that. And I just feel like that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? You have to um, try. And you have to understand that the same way you are expecting those that you are preaching to, to listen and to put forth effort, you yourself will have to listen and also put forth effort. Okay. And that's the message, you know, and you know, this is not, um, this is not a message to turn anybody away and turn anybody astray. This is a message of warning. This is a message, um, to like, it's a call for improvement. It's a call for improvement. This is not saying God is going to punish, like God, like, um, God is going to, how do I say it? God is not saying that he doesn't want you to preach his word. He's saying he doesn't want you to preach his word and be hypocritical. Okay. Like that's what it is. Okay. Um, Because that, like, that would make you into being like um, a false. Like that's that will make you into a false preacher. That will make you into somebody that is. You're telling people that they need to do this and they need to do that and they need to work on this and they need to work on that, while you yourself are not doing that. Okay, and you know, like I said, 
I, I'm going to be real. I'll be real. Okay. Real like, I like real. And the video is still there. So, you know, I can't hide it. It's not like it's something I can hide. I don't even know if that's the only one, but I believe that is the only one. Um, I have talked about, uh, the, 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 me smoking cigarettes and having a problem with it for, um, uh, and several videos having problems trying to stop smoking several videos and i just feel like god is saying that it would be better for you to be open honest and real and you know it's kind of like you're more relatable first of all because nobody is perfect nobody is expecting you to be perfect um and if anybody is expecting you to be perfect they really need to take a good look in the mirror and that's real but i just feel like god is saying nobody is expecting you to be perfect but he is expecting you to practice what you preach okay nobody is expecting you to be perfect but he is expecting you to practice what you preach. You can't say that you are against this, that, and the third, and then you turn around and do it. That's not okay. You gonna have to practice what you preach or be quiet, okay? <laughs> and if you are putting forth effort to stop whatever it is, give your testimony. Talk to people about it. I Like, I... I I, talk, I talked about it um, several times because I know that that's something that is very hard for people to stop doing. A lot of times when you like uh, when you have your first cigarette, most people are teenagers or uh, adolescents. OK, at an age and you get used to it to such a point that when you want to stop, it's hard. OK, and I just feel like. That's something that is relatable to other people that are trying to stop smoking, okay? For me, in order for me to stop smoking, sometimes I have to transition into vaping and then transition into nothing, okay? Sometimes I, uh, at one time, I transitioned from smoking into using a patch. But I just feel like, um, and I didn't really, I can, I'm going to be real and say I didn't like the patch very much because it put me to sleep. I did not like it. It was kind of like, it's like I wasn't able to do anything else except not smoke. Okay. <laughs> just, I just feel like God is saying, you know, figure out what works best for you. Put forth effort. And when you're doing that, why don't you help other people? Help them out too. And let them know that they're not, they're not alone in overcoming this. But it's not okay for you to stand in front of them and say, I'm perfect. Now you stop this and you stop that and you stop this and you stop that and you stop this and you stop that. And I don't like this and I don't like that. God said that is not real. It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. It's phony. It's fraud. It's fake. It's fake. It's phony. It's fraud. It's fake. It's fake. It's phony. God said, stop it. Be real. Be real. Be real. And I like, you know what I'm saying? Be real. Be real. Be honest. And you never know who you're going to help. You never know who is going to appreciate the advice. You never know who is going to appreciate the honesty and the realness. Because like, it, it's not like we are perfect. We are not made perfect. We are not perfect. Everybody is imperfect. Everybody has fallen short. So you can't think that, okay, if I say this, everybody's going to be judging me, you know? And I know that's how it feels sometimes. Like everybody's going to judge me and they're going to feel like this about me and they're going to think this about me. God said, God told me to tell you that if they decide that they're going to judge you after you are putting yourself on a line to help them. Because for me, you know, it's hard for me to say, I keep having problems with smoking cigarettes and I keep stopping. And I like over the course of the years that I have been prophesying, I have been having problems and I stop and I have problems and I stop and I stop and I stop. And I like, it's, it's hard. And it's like, God is saying that is real. Like this is prophets are not like supposed to be above all type thing. Like we are people too. We just so happen to have a gift. That is different from the gifts other people have. Everybody has gifts. But I just feel like God is saying, um, don't, don't even overthink it. I hear God saying for somebody, don't overthink it. It's not for you to overthink. It's not for you to stress out. It's not for you to be hurt. Because you never know who you're going to talk to. And you'll be able to tell them, I used to have the same problem. Let me tell you how I stopped. Let me tell you what I did in order to stop. Or you know what? I have the same problem. So I can't stunt. Sometimes I really have cravings. You know what I'm saying? But 
this is what I do when I have a craving. And this is how I stop. And this is what helps me to avoid it. And this is how I stop. And this is what saved me and pulled me away from that. And I just feel like God is saying, um, if you're going to preach, put your personal stamp on it. Give your testimony. Put your personal stamp on it. Give your testimony. Put your personal stamp on it. It's not to say that I'm the only person up on YouTube that prophesies that ever had a problem with smoking cigarettes. I am not going to say that because I don't know that. I don't know that to be factual. Um, but at the same time, it's just the fact that I am one that can help someone else that may be looking for guidance, maybe looking for some kind of help. Maybe they're looking for some kind of inspiration. They're trying to figure out, how do I stop? God said, if you look to him, he will send somebody in your life to help you stop. And the person that he wants to send into their life to help them stop is you. But you don't want to admit that you had the problem. And if you don't want to admit that you had the problem, how are you going to help somebody else? That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. God said you have nothing to be ashamed of because you stopped. You stop. You have no, like, why, how can you be ashamed of this thing when you stop? And, you know, sometimes it is, like, scary to think, oh, wow, they're going to think this about me. They're going to think that about me. Um, I remember uh, when I first, 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 first started my channel, God told me to give my testimony on how he delivered me from new age spirituality. And, you know, I know still to this day, there are people that are um, trying uh, to be suspicious of me or accuse me of doing this, accuse me of doing that. I ain't doing nothing but glorifying God because I like God taught me my lesson. I'm going to be real. God taught me my lesson. God taught me my lesson. God taught me my lesson. He taught me my lesson. He taught me my lesson. And right after he taught me that lesson, he said, through your pain. You have been saved through your pain. I have forgiven you. Now come work for me. And I don't care who get mad about it. I don't care who get upset. I don't care who stunk, fall out on the floor. Oh, how dare she? How could God? Why would God do that? I don't understand. Why would he ever do that? Why would he do that? Because there are people in the new age community that need to be saved. And who else? The uh, Why wouldn't God call, like when he saves people out their community, they can give their testimony and help other people be saved. That's why he did it. But if this person is so scared to tell their testimony because they keep getting attacked from the people that they're trying to help, how are they going to give it? So, you know, um, in that sense, I understand. And that's why I said, I, like, I feel like I is saying he understands. He understands how it can be a very scary thing to do, very fearful thing to do. But God said, do it scared. Do it scared. It's okay. Do it scared. You never know who you will save with your testimony, even if you just touch one person. Even if you just touch one person, you don't know who you can save with your testimony. And sometimes it's hard to tell a testimony. Okay, I, I, I like I, I got so many like I got all kind of gangster stories and all kind of stuff. Y'all like y'all already know that your girl didn't live the life. Okay, I have I I have man, don't don't get me started, man. But anyways, <laughs> uh, but I'll, at the same time, I know. That I have convers I have had conversations with God where He has let me know this is why I chose you. Specifically, because you lived your life that way. I saw you when you was over there trying to hide from me, and I was still using you. And what? And I just feel like somebody got a, a testimony to give. You have a story to give and it's something that you are preaching about or something that um, maybe it's somebody that you were preaching about um, 
you're preaching about something or you're talking to someone about something or maybe you are denying something and whatever this thing is god says it is your testimony and whoever it is that you are talking to that you're like this person either they are not going to judge you they can help you or they can help you to give your testimony to other people and save them god said don't be scared if you scared do it scared okay the whoever like i said they can they is not right to judge okay god is the judge god is the judge god is the judge he is the only one that appoints judges and the judges that he appoints are fair and they seek justice and if they don't seek justice and they're not fair he will remove them and we know this to be factual so with that being said i feel like god may be sending somebody to a judge so that they can tell them or help them and assist them with saving people with this testimony. God said, do not be scared. If you are scared, do it scared. You can't, you, God wants you to preach to people and save people. Save them before it's too late. Don't be scared. Because the blessings that will be up on you with the way that you are going to save people, you don't even understand. You don't even understand the way that God got is putting stuff together. The way that he will like, you don't understand how he will glory. He will bless you. God is so amazing. God is so merciful. God is so like, he's just wonderful. He, he's a victorious. He, he is, he's the alpha and the omega. It, it's like God is everything. And you have to understand that God loves us so much. And whoever this is for, this is somebody that you don't, either you don't want to admit that you used to do something or you don't want to admit that you are doing something or that you had problems with something or even if you still have problems, maybe you stopped and you still have problems and you're trying to fight it. God said, admit it to the judge that he has appointed you to and they will help you. Testify to the people. So that you can save more. He wants them to be saved too. That's the message y'all. Um, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.